programming uh, uh, or coding needed. So our objective here is uh, uh, for you to be able to create a website without uh, any programming knowledge. Now, uh, uh, if, you, if you are interested in that video, you can uh, search it in our channel. And uh, do not forget to subscribe as well and share our videos. Now, uh, in this uh, video, uh, we will show you uh, the Joomla 4, uh, the features of the Cassiopeia default template. So, if, uh, if you check out our previous video, we have explained how to change the logo and some layout right here. But here, uh, we will show you... Uh, what are the advanced features for this Cassiopeia template? Now, if you notice, uh, uh, this is the default template, and we install the sample data, which you can find that as well in our uh, previous video. But here is the default uh, one, and then we install the uh, sample data. So this is the blog right here. If you can see it down. And you get some login right here, uh, login menu. Uh, but anyway, you can change that uh, as well. Uh, so okay, then I go up. If if you notice, uh, most of the website right now, uh, this sticky, uh, this header right here. If you uh, scroll down, it will also uh, stick here, or it will. Uh, 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 you can you can. Uh, you can see it as well while, while you're browsing so that it's easy to navigate and so on. But here, I will show you the Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia template can do that actually. So uh, let's try to uh, uh, give you some tips and tricks on how to do that. Uh, and then let's try to adjust this one. Uh, we need the sticky header right here so that uh, it's easy for uh, the your customers or your uh, visitors in your website to navigate so okay uh, I'll go to my Joomla administrator so this is the, my Joomla administrator right here and then you go to systems click on systems and then click on the site template style and uh, you notice there are only one template that we install this is the Cassiopeia template uh, so this is the default one uh, so click this one right here and there are three tabs that uh, you will see details advanced and uh, menu assignment uh, we have different video for that one uh, uh, to give you some highlight on how to do that you can check that as well so here uh, this is where you can change the logo uh, if you want to change the Cassiopeia logo right here this one uh, this is the area right here so we have different video for that one to change and uh, we give you some tips and tricks for that one you can find it out but right now what I will show you here is this uh, if you browse down uh, there are some uh, uh, options for the Cassiopeia template so this one is the sticky header this is the one that uh, we're looking for so no need for any programming or coding knowledge here because this is default for Cassiopeia template so just click enable that one and don't forget to click save yeah and then let's try to check it uh, in our uh, front page click that one here and then let's see let's browse it down if this sticky header will uh, stick if you browse ah, see that one so that's the new feature uh, for Cassiopeia template and then uh, if you notice, uh, if you go back to your administrator uh, settings for the template, you will also find uh, this uh, very important uh, options right here is back to top. So if I go back here, so if you need to go back at the top, you need to just uh, use your mouse. Uh, it's not really a friendly user, you know, uh, and. Uh, well, the sticky is very nice because you can navigate even if you're at the down. You can navigate any menu right here, but uh, it would be a good option if you if we show up that here. So we just simply uh, click uh, enable this one and click save. Yeah, now it's saved. Let's try to open it again. Our sticky menu right there. 
and let's go down and there you go we have some button right here if we click this one it will go you uh, back at the top uh, much more faster and easier yeah uh, let's try another options uh, I'll go back to my Joomla administrator and then uh, there's a layout right here so there's an option static uh, and if you enable this one it becomes fluid so what are the difference I will show you for the static one this is the default for Joomla see uh, the static would be you have some uh, margin about here but if you go for a fluid this one this margin will be a uh, you know stretch and uh, will be a uh, your layout will be stretched and uh, uh, will be don't have any more margin margin so let's try that one uh, layout enabled and let's click save again and then click again back to our uh, Joomla front page as you can see uh, there's no more margin at the left and the right area because we choose fluid yeah so that's the difference between the fluid and the static so it's up to you uh, uh, which layout do you want to prefer but uh, it's all right here the options now uh, in the default if I go back here you will see the dark blue color at the header but there are some options to change that one as well so if you go to the template and then uh, the font scheme I uh, here sorry the color theme that was the standard click uh, alternative and click save and then let's click our front and see there is also another options like a, a maroon light maroon color all right but uh, we have our uh, different video to uh, show you how to customize this color so check that one out so all right so for now uh, this is uh, this video is uh, we give we show you how to become sticky header fluid uh, in layout and we also put the scroll at the top so check out our uh, other videos you will find it uh, very interesting for uh, Joomla 4 uh, that's it for now uh, thank you for watching and see you in our next video bye, -bye.